Hello everyone, uh, lots of lots of my viewers was asking me for the in detail demonstration of the software that I have provided um, on the YouTube. Uh, so let me give you an in detail uh, explanation on how you can use this uh, to record the entries uh, to use in your business, your your college or wherever you would like right so first of all what you need to do uh, you will go on the control sheet from here you can do the full screen out and just do the full screen right so this is straightforward functionality uh, here you will choose the double entry form right this double entry form will allow you to make the entry so right now this is a blank uh, software so where you can create your sub accounts accordingly. So right now I am going to establish the business by investing cash. Uh, so cash is a current asset, so which is gonna debit my account. And because I am the owner, so I'm going to invest the money into my business. So this is gonna create my equity. So here I am going to invest cash. So, so the cash account is not created because it's a blank software right now. So it's asked you that this account does not exist in the list. Do you want to create it? You say yes. So you will notice that this is a part of now drop down, right? So every time when you select any another account and come back to the current assets, you will be see, always seeing the cash here, right? And from here, you can select the equity. And let's say this is waste equity, let's say, right? You enter it, it will create my account as well. So you can say invested in the business, right? Or you can say establish the business. So I have invested, let's say 1 million, right? Uh, into the business and I just click on record and press yes and okay. And you can see on the data sheet on the back, the system has created a 1 million entry uh, into my into my general journal right so now I have a cash balance of 1 million and which I can also verify by going on the trial balance at any time and you can see you have a 1 million cash in debit and a 1 million credit in equity right now I'm going to create another entry so let's say now I have some money uh, in my drawer so <clears throat> I will pick that money and deposit that into the bank right so now what I'm going I am going to debit my bank right and here I will credit my cash because from now my office uh, the money will go into the bank right so cash so deposit cash into bank and let's say uh, I deposit 300,000 into the bank and just record and press yes so now what happens if you go and see the trial balance uh, I have 700,000 in my office I have 300,000 in my bank and total investment is 1 million which is my query right coming back now what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to purchase some inventory right so inventory is again a cash or again a current asset so I need to create inventory so for example uh, I have purchased inventory so if you have any specific name of the inventory you can choose that name right so press yes and I'm going to purchase that inventory from the cash right so bought inventory on cash and I have purchased inventory of let's say 50,000 right okay now I want to in buy the further inventory right but this time i want to buy on credit so i'm going to create a current liability account so let's say uh the john has is my supplier so john is my supplier and he's gonna give me the inventory so john supplier let's say right so but inventory from john and this time i have purchased on let's say 60,000 right let's create more accounts let's purchase a fixed asset so now I'm going to purchase a shop right for example so I just purchase a shop and this time I have purchased a shop by using my bank balance so I go on bank and I just purchase a shop and I purchase for 100,000 let's say 
and I just click on record and press yes. So you can see it's very straightforward, very simple. So if I just go and see my trial balance, I have a cash balance of 650. I have a bank balance of 200,000. I have an inventory of 110. This is my investment and this is my liabilities. You can see the current liabilities. And I have a shop, which is my fixed asset is 100,000, right? For example, uh, if I'm going to make a transaction with cash and credit as well, means one transaction has multiple accounts effects. So you don't need to use this form. What you will do, you will choose this multi entry form. Here, this is the same thing, right? But here it will allow you to have multiple entries at the same time under one transaction. So for example, I am going to sell the inventory this time, right? So what will happen? Uh, my sales will increase and my inventory will decrease, right? And I will receive uh, the cash as well. So what will happen uh, in the current account, current assets? For example, I sold the inventory on cash and let's say I have sold 30,000 inventory, right? I sold 30,000 inventory and my revenue is, for example, okay. So this is going to be my sales account. I will create it. So all those accounts which you already created is appearing here, right? So my sales account is credited by 30,000. Moreover, this account, the sales which I have done is a cost of 20,000. So I can record a cost of goods sold as well here. So this is going to be my expense account. So I can say cost of goods sold, right? And cost of goods sold, let's say 20,000 if I know that. So there are two types of accounting. So once you just instantly record your COGS, if you know your cost, and if you don't know that, you can just record at the end of the year when you do that. You just calculate everything at time. So I'm just keeping things simple just to make you understand how to use this program wisely. So here, uh, against this expense, I have reduced, I will reduce the 20,000 inventory, which is uh, my current assets. So my current assets is increased, decreased by 20,000, right? And this is a description. So inventory on cash and just record and press yes so you can see the system has recorded uh, this transaction under one reference number and if you go here you will see that uh, you have an expense account ready which is 20,000 you have a sales of 30,000 right so whenever revenue increases it's recorded as credit it's a standard accounting practice uh, and you have an inventory of 90,000 left because 20,000 is sold. Previously, you have 110,000, right? Now, uh, let's say uh, you open this form again and now you want to purchase the inventory again, but this time uh, half on cash and half on credit. So on the current assets, you purchase the inventory and this time you purchase the inventory for let's say 150,000, right? But what happens you have made the payment uh, 70 or oh, let's say 80,000 in cash and you have created a liability rest of the amount for the rest of the amount which is the 70,000 and that amount is let's say John supplier I'm just using one supply right now so purchased inventory on cash as well as on credit and I will just record and press yes so you can see uh, if I go on the trial balance you can see the John balance is now 130,000 now what I'm going to do I'm going to settle this amount right 130,000 I'm gonna settle this so again open this account uh, this form and here what I'm going to do, I'm going to debit my current liabilities and I will pay the payments to the John and total I am going to pay 100,000 to Mr. John. 
and here I will choose current assets and I'm going to make payment through the bank I've issued a check of let's say 60,000 so this is gonna affect my bank and I have made a 40,000 in cash so you can see you can use this form for the multiple entries like that so made payment to John supplier on cash as well as on bank and you just record and press yes and now this is the part of your <clears throat> journal journal so if you go on your trial balance so you can see that John balance is now left with 30,000 your cash and bank is adjusted accordingly you have inventory of 240,000 this is your inventory and the differences will always be nil right now if John asks you okay please give me my statements right please give me my statement so what you will do you will choose you will go on the ledger sheet and you will click on this word form and here John is my creditor so I will choose current liabilities and he's John supplier right he, so let's say so I am going to issue him the statement from 1st October till let's say 31st October right and I click on get later so you can see on 1st of October his opening balance was nil then we bought the inventory for 60,000 so 60,000 balance then we bought the inventory further for 70,000 on credit so it's 130,000 is balance and then I made a payment of 100,000 so now it's 30,000 is a balance so you can also see on the top that this is his closing balance right similarly if you want to run the same statement for the cash so you can or you can just see your inventory track so you just click on inventory I want to run this from 1st October till 31st October and click get ledger so you will be able to see that okay uh, what I did I bought the inventory first on cash then I bought 60,000 from John as a credit then I sold inventory for 20,000 and then I purchased inventory 150,000 so my inventory balance is 250 also seeing on the top as well and if you want to export this into PDF you can simply click on this button and just gonna export this for this page as a PDF so you can send to wherever you want to send right and this button will get you back on the control page again so this is very straightforward you can just use your uh, accounting entries by using this form and record your entries accordingly and this will update your ledger and the trial balance as well and you can also change this name this logo this um, company name according to your company name to use in your daily routine so in case in case if you have accidentally created any account or you want to just clear it out <clears throat> any account which I will not recommend once created uh, and if it has the entry so you have to remove their entries first but if you want to alter, make the alteration so you can simply go on the drop downs and you can adjust it from here accordingly and this form will also show you the last entries done in the in the bottom so you can also see it from here as well just for a quick reference only so i hope this is perfect uh let me know if you have any question and if you want to download uh, the you can get the link from the description subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon and share with others thank you so much